right, so let's just get in right into the video. We're going to be reviewing the new, infamous, notorious Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics lipsticks. Or is it Jaclyn Cosmetics? Who knows? So, <laughs> Jaclyn Hill Beauty Guru Extraordinaire released um, lipstick. She finally launched her makeup line after people have been waiting for years and years, like four to five years. She's been talking about it, hyping it up, and it just hasn't come out yet. Since it took so long, I think people expected a absolutely perfect product. And those are just the intentions as far as... I mean, as far as Jaclyn Hill goes, but as far as beauty gurus go, like, in, in their collabs, people tear that shit to shreds. Like, a, a brand, a big brand, say Too Faced comes out with, like, a an okay product, and people don't tear it, tear it to shreds. But if a beauty guru comes out with their own makeup brand or a collab, people have everything to say and that's just how it is and here i am giving my opinions about it <laughs> and at the end of the day i just want to like get into these lipsticks and really just give my honest review so that's what we're gonna do so she released these lipsticks you know beautiful packaging she described them as being super rich and buttery with shea butter and mango butter and all these amazing ingredients she's always talked about lips being the first product she wants to release i mean i'd say out of all the makeup products lips are my favorite they're my favorite category if i were to come out with a makeup brand lips would definitely be the first product i launch because i just love lip products so i was super excited obviously that she was coming out with a bunch of new i mean not just a lipstick lover a nude lipstick lover i was super excited to really try out her formula and just see how these perform and how they wear and how they look and so i think the day of i ordered five lipsticks so i think i spent around like 115 dollars on these lipsticks and so, before I got mine, other people had been receiving them. Beauty YouTubers started receiving their PR packages. People had a lot to say about these lipsticks. So, I think all of the things that people were complaining about are valid. But again, just keeping in mind that a lot of people shit on Jaclyn Hill and just shit on beauty YouTubers in general. So, I'm just going to go over the complaints that were being said People were saying their lipsticks were super melted. People said they, was, they looked like there was finger marks on them. There was a lot of furry, like fuzzies, hair-like looking things. Maybe I'd say I describe it more as lint rather than hair. That was a big complaint. Another big complaint was the grittiness and texture. People were saying that um, once they started using it, it scratched their lips. Some people were receiving theirs with holes in them, like tiny, tiny holes, and they were starting to call it mold. Some people were saying they were having reactions to it. It was expired. The list goes on. So I was like, well, shit, I just spent like $100 on these. So then Raw Beauty Christy um, posted a video kind of just describing the lipsticks. Um, she put them under a microscope. I don't have a microscope, unfortunately. It's been about like one or two weeks since she launched and people were waiting for a statement from Jaclyn. They're like, we don't know if these are safe to use. Like, there's hair in these. There's mold like these are expired just the whole nine yards if you could have a complaint about a lipstick these lipsticks have received every single complaint you could think of so i was doing a little bit of research and temptalia is a makeup blogger she has a blog and i was actually reading her experience and kind of her thoughts on this and i kind of wanted to read them because it seemed like she was kind of counteracting all the complaints and i kind of just want to read what she said about them and I also link the blog down below if you want more information. As far as lipsticks melting, and this is also my personal opinion, I don't think that's not normal. I mean, it is summer, and I think she lives somewhere hot, and she said, yeah, like, her, some of her lipsticks were melted. It happens. It's not, like, the first brand to ever have a melted lipsticks. So, yeah, I definitely agree with her on that one. Um, I don't think the lipstick melting was a big deal. Um, the furries... 
Um, she also explained that it was definitely strange, but not a big deal. Along with uh, Jacqueline's video, she kind of came out with a video explaining everything. Finally, after like a couple days, she said the lint looking like hair like pieces on the like, top of the lipsticks were actually from cotton gloves. So she said the people in her lab were wearing cotton gloves and that's why all this lint got on the lipsticks. Again, not the best thing. They don't look very like appetizing. That's like a weird thing to say about a lipstick, but the product has to look pretty, you know? It has to look normal. And so I think when people were receiving these lipsticks, they were not looking the way they wanted it to. And the next thing is grittiness. So Jacqueline said that the formula wasn't stirred well enough, so that's why in some lipsticks people are experiencing grittiness and bumpiness and like these like almost like little beads. And then the last thing, the holes on top is not mold. They are air bubbles. This happens. Uh, I don't know, she's, she explained the process. It happens when you um, going from like heated liquid lipstick to cooling them. Um, sometimes they can just get air bubbles. To be uh, completely honest, if I had received these lipsticks and I didn't know all this stuff going on and all the complaints, I would not have known that any of that stuff was on my lipsticks because I did find some fuzzies. I did find some holes. Um, I did find like a little bit of smudginess, like meltingness, a little bit of like melting at the bottom of the bullet. When I get a lipstick, I don't, I don't inspect my lipsticks. I don't turn them all the way out of the tube, so I never would have known that they would have melted. I might have seen like a fuzzy, but honestly, I probably would have picked it off and went on about my day. The black holes could barely see them. I had to look up like super, super close to see them. I'm not sure about the gradients or texture. I haven't like actually put them on my lips yet. So we will see when I do some swatches. But overall, I don't wanna be saying people are overreacting, but like some of the comments I've been seeing, I definitely feel like they're a little bit overreacting. That being said, Jacqueline did own up to these mistake you know obviously if you're not happy with your product you can definitely return it and same goes for me if I find that I really if one of my lipsticks is like super gritty and like not comfortable I probably am gonna ask for a refund or return it and get a new one but as far as like the other complaints go I I don't know I, I don't think they're a big deal as long as they aren't hazardous and as long as they aren't expired well, obviously it's just your preference if you want to buy them then buy them if you don't if you're scared that they're expired or something's wrong with them then don't buy them you know it's not it's not a big deal and again like if you are nervous to use them you can just return them and get a refund so at the end of the day we all win here we all get our own lipsticks we all get to return them and get a refund like whatever i do think she should have came out with a video a lot sooner because it just would have explained things a lot better. We were just getting more mad as the days went by when they didn't hear a reply from her. So I think she could have handled that a lot better, but I'm glad she came out with a video and just spoke her truth and and hopefully there's just no more problems in the future. But right now, I'm gonna um, just review these lipsticks because that's what I wanna do. So I picked up five lipsticks. So the packaging on the outside is really, really pretty. It's just silver and then there's this white detailing on it but who really cares about this part so i did get one trio this is the nude moment trio i'm going to show you the color and swatch them on my hand the single package looks like this and it has the color on the outside and i'm just gonna be honest right now like even though all this stuff went down and there's been drama and whatever people have formed these opinions about jacqueline like Regardless of Jacqueline, I'm still excited to try these lipsticks because, like I said, lipsticks are my favorite product, especially, like, comfortable, creamy lipsticks. Like, oh my god. So, this is what the packaging looks like. It's silver and has sparkles, and it's not gritty. It's very smooth. They have the JH right there and the diamond on top. Personal preference, um, this isn't, like, my favorite packaging I've ever seen. I don't really like the diamond on top. It's just not my style. If it were my lipstick, I probably would have taken the diamond out, but, um, it's not my lipstick, so. Oh, who am I to talk? <laughs> Alright, and it actually feels very heavy. It feels really nice. I mean, honestly, like, it's gonna go perfectly in my room. Like, it actually matches. It's gonna match perfectly with my lamp, so I'm happy about that. So, you take the top off. And this is the shade Perfectionist. All right, no grittiness from the swatch. 
So this is the shade Perfectionist. And also, by the way, when I received my lipsticks, I took a look at them right away because I was like, I can't wait for the video. Like, I want to see if they look jacked up. Photos, um, and like, I think I've said this before, but I'll say it again. I only found a little bit of furries and like a little bit of black or the holes. What Jacqueline's saying, oxygen bubbles, I've found those in like two or three of them. But like I said, as far as appearance, if I didn't like inspect them, I would have never known that that stuff was on them. Next in the Nude Moment Trio, we have the shade Sophia. This looks pretty similar to Perfectionist. Like, yeah, there, there's like a little fuzz on this. I'm just going to pull it out. So this is the shade Sophia. Again, no grittiness after swatching that one. And the last in this trio is that girl and so i think that girl had some melting if you can see that on the side but again i literally would have not have noticed because i don't roll up my bullets all the way yeah this is that girl and this is what the lipstick looks like afterwards no grittiness or bumpiness or texture and that is that girl swatched so that's the nude moment trio very pretty colors. Now I'm going to go into the two that I bought separately. So I picked up the shade As If, which is a, I think this is the nudist shade I got. And this one actually came, this one has a little ding on the side. I don't know if you can see it. Not a big one, but it's there. So this is the shade As If. Oh, that's such a pretty shade. And the last shade I picked up is Fussy. And this is the shade Fussy. So here are all the shades that I got. Um, I'm going to try them all on. Like I said, no problems with the swatches. I didn't feel any grittiness um, after swatching them. We will see though, when I put them on my lips, I might feel something different. Also, I didn't even comment on the scent. In her like launch video, she said it had like a really nice vanilla scent. I'm gonna be honest, I don't really get that much of a scent. Like it doesn't, it doesn't smell bad. It does, it, sm it just smells like makeup. I think she wanted to go like light on the scent. It's almost too light to where you can't really tell. But honestly, I really don't care if there's a scent. I'm not really gonna be like sniffing them throughout the day, you know? So we're first gonna go into the shade As If, which is the nudist one. And another thing she said, if you are having like problems with a melted lipstick, you don't wanna like twist it all the way up and use it because then it's more prone to breaking. So if you are using it, just twist it up like just enough. Ooh. Okay, so first thing I'm gonna say, very smooth application. I don't feel any texture. Lipstick, um, it's definitely a little too light. I would definitely wear a darker lip liner with it, but I think it's a really beautiful color. It feels really comfortable on the lips. And again, it didn't get any like grit or bumps with that application. I'm gonna zoom you guys in a little bit. So that is as if. Now I'm going to go in with the shade That Girl. Okay, I'm getting some grittiness. Hmm. Okay. Okay, I just applied a lot just because I wanted to feel the grittiness. So this is what the lipstick looks like. I hope you can see that grittiness. So, okay, so is it like cutting my lips? Absolutely not, no. Does it feel like a little strange? A little bit, but I don't think it's a huge deal. If I didn't know like what that was, it probably would have alarmed me a little bit. Now though that she did make a statement about it, I don't feel concerned about the lipstick. Um, but like I said, if I didn't know, if I had reviewed these before she had made that statement, I probably would have been a little concerned about that. But uh, this is the shade That Girl. That was definitely more pinkier of the shades, so I can see why it's stained. Okay, now let's go in with the shade Perfectionist. 
This looks like it's going to be very close to my natural lip shade. Probably a little bit deeper though. So that is the shade Perfectionist. I think it's really pretty. I would definitely wear this on its own or put a nude shade in the middle. So with Perfectionist, I didn't have any grittiness or texture or bumpiness. So that is Perfectionist. Okay, next we're going to go in with the shade Sophia. So I didn't get any texture or grittiness with that one either. So this is the shade Sophia. I love the shade. I think it looks so good. And, oh my gosh, my lips are so messed up. Okay, the last shade is Fussy. This is the shade Fussy and also a very smooth application with this one. So I'm actually going to add in um, As If in the middle a little bit of this. Okay, so on my lips right now, I'm wearing Fussy with As If in the center, and I actually put some gloss on too. Final thoughts of these lipsticks. I, I loved all of them. I loved all the shades. The only shade that I had a problem with was that girl. That was the only one where I got the weird kind of grittiness, bumpiness. If I experienced that without an explanation, I probably would have been a little concerned. I don't know if I would have kept using it. I probably would have reached out to the brand or returned it or done something. Since she put out an explanation video, I don't feel concerned to use it, to be honest. And as far as like everything else goes complaint-wise, I don't really have any complaints. Like I said, I mean, I didn't even notice any lint pieces when I was applying the lipsticks. There were like a little bit when I first checked, when I first opened them, there were a little bit of those holes, but I mean, I don't even think I don't think there's holes anymore. I think they kind of go away as you go down the lipstick or they might still be there but they're just so small like you can't even see them unless you're literally looking at the lipstick like this close. I would not have noticed any of these problems besides the grittiness unless the internet had told me about them first. So my honest thoughts are I really like the lipsticks. I think the shade range is just beautiful. I think the formula is beautiful. It is like exactly my type of lipstick is creamy and very comfortable i think there's a shade for everyone i think 18 dollars a piece is actually less than i was expecting her to come out with i don't know i thought it'd be a late like 20 to 25 probably more on like the higher end side um but i'm pleasantly surprised that they are 18 dollars again not the cheapest lipsticks but they are comparable to every lipstick in sephora if not they're more affordable than the lipsticks in sephora i think if you are a jacqueline supporter i think if you really love really glam packaging. I think if you really like super creamy comfortable lipsticks and nude lipsticks at that, you will really really love these lipsticks. That is just my complete honest opinion. If you're just nervous about, you know, putting them on your lips, then don't, you know, don't spend the money. You can find these colors in the drugstore. You can find these colors in Sephora. They're nothing we've never seen before. Have so I own so many nude lipsticks. Did I need all of these lipsticks? No, of course not. So I hope you guys appreciate this honest review. The drama is in the past. Let's leave that in the past. Let's move forward. Hopefully in the future there will be no problems with these lipsticks. Who knows? There might still be problems in the future. Did I not appreciate the bumpiness and texture? No, I didn't. But is it the end of the world? No, like absolutely not. And I'll let you guys know if I break out in a rash on my face. But like I said, I'm not worried about it. She came out with a statement. I don't think she would lie about <laughs> that kind of stuff. If she did, that would be a big, big problem. But yeah, those are my thoughts. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I had a great time just like reviewing these, swatching these. So that is it for my review. Take with that what you will. Thank you for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.